Hi, and welcome to the series. My name is Marcus Huskins, and I'm a producer, mixer, engineer, and songwriter from just outside the Toronto, Canada area. And in this series, we're going to focus on creating your first song in Pro Tools. Now, one thing I wanted to mention before we get going here is if you have an opportunity or you haven't already done so, I'd highly advise checking out my course, Pro Tools 2018 Explained. Because a lot of the things that we're going to be going over in this series, I've gone into in a great depth and a lot of detail in that course. So it's a really, really good primer to get yourself ready for going into this series. Now, having said that, my goal is that if you were to watch this series from the very beginning, that you could follow along just fine and you'd also be able to get something out of it. But like I mentioned, it definitely wouldn't hurt to check out the Pro Tools 2018 Explain course before having a look at this one. Okay. So having said that, let's hop right in. The first thing I'm gonna do over here is I'm gonna go to my Pro Tools, I've already booted it up. So what we can do is we can go ahead and we can create a new session. Now, when we create a new session, you'll see that we have this dialog window that opens up and we've got a couple different options. We can create, we have recents and we have projects. Let's not focus on projects for now, but what we could do is we could go ahead and create a song. So we could call this, for example, my first song. Then we could choose where we want to keep this, and we're going to focus on local storage being based on this computer. And then the next thing I want to focus on is our file type, bit depth, sample rate, and I.O. settings. So with this particular setup, what I like to work with is broadcast wave format, sample rate. I usually stick with 48 because I tend to do a lot of video work. I.O. settings, we can either use the last used or we could set this up for a basic stereo mix if we wanted to do that. Or if you've already gone ahead and set up your own I.O. settings, we can also make some choices over here. And then we have interleave. I'd always recommend leaving this checked off. All this means is that your stereo files are one file, which contains both the left and right channel, versus being split up. Now, this is just for legacy compatibility with Pro Tools, but I always have this checked off. And then, of course, last but not least, we have a location over here. Now, having said that, I've already gone ahead here and set up a session for this song. So let's go ahead and enter the recent category. And you can see here, I've got two different sessions over here. Let's ignore this one that says rough sketch for now. And let's go ahead and open our Groove 3 first song with Pro Tools 2018 session. Go ahead and open this up. Okay, so we have our session open now. And essentially, we are looking at our blank canvas in Pro Tools, meaning that we have our main window over here, which is our range window. And then if we go over to our window section over here, we can also toggle to our mixer. Now our mixer, you can see right now, it's blank, it doesn't have any channels. But one thing I wanna make mention of is this shortcut over here, this command equals. And this would obviously be control equals if you're working on a PC system. But this is one shortcut you definitely wanna tackle right off the bat in terms of memorizing because what it allows you to do is jump between these two different windows. Very, very useful in terms of being able to optimize your workflow when working in Pro Tools. Okay, so essentially, we have our blank canvas now. In the next video, let's go ahead and actually start our song. So we'll catch you for more in the next video.